Hello everyone, this is Shonko and welcome to another video. If you're not already subscribed to my channel or if you're new to this channel, uh, please do subscribe and uh, click the bell icon so that you never miss a video on my channel. So today in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, how Spring uh, Singleton Beans work and how they're different from Java Singleton classes. I already did a video on this topic, but uh, the sound quality of that video is really poor and I got a few requests asking me to remake the video and I'm making this video again. So for the demo I've already created a project and this is a Spring Starter project and I've named it demo and uh, for dependencies we have Spring Boot Starter and Spring Boot Starter Test. So that's all we have and inside this package com.demo let's create a class and Let's name this student. Click on finish. And let's say at the rate scope. And let's say singleton. By default, uh, Spring creates uh, singleton beans, but I'm going to specify here singleton so that we understand it better. And let's mark this as component. And let's have a field called private int age. And let's have getter sense headers for age. Select all. Okay. All right. And I'm going to name this bean as student. Right. Now let's create another class and let's name this config click on finish and let's annotate this as configuration right and now let's auto wire say auto wired private student say student one and I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste it here and say student two All right now let's create a bean at the red bean and say public void uh, test singleton right and let's say student one dot set age as 20 ray right? and let's print system dot all dot print ln say student one and let's print the age so I'll say student one dot get age and let's print the age uh, let's print the age for student two as well so I'll say student two All right student two dot get age and then I'm gonna say student 2 dot set age and I'm gonna set the age as 22 and then I'm gonna get the ages and let's run this I'm gonna say run as spring boot app okay so first uh, we set the the ages to uh, for student one as 20 and then we get the age for student one, so that is 20. But we don't set uh, the age for student two, but it automatically is set to 20. And then we set uh, the age for student two as 22. And both the students now have 22 uh, as the age. So basically, if we uh, see the spring documentation for uh, uh, singleton, uh, singleton beans, it says that for a particular 
bean definition there can be only one instance of a class so what does that exactly mean what that means is if we have a bean definition if we have a bean id for that particular id if that if the scope for that particular bean is singleton then we can have only one instance attached to that particular bean id and if we try to get an object using that bean id or bean name it will always return the same object so here what we are doing is we are auto wiring a type which is student and since we have only one bean for this uh, class it is attaching this uh, attaching uh, an object of student class to this particular variable and it is attaching the same object to this variable so whenever we are making a change to any one of the any one of the objects the other one is getting changed because they are sharing the same instance now let's do one thing I'll say at the red bean public student say student bean and I'll say return new student array and here I'll auto wear another student and I'll say I say this as student 3 and I'll say other way qualifier okay I'll set the name here as say uh, student student 3 right? and I'll copy this I set the qualifier as student 3 and I print the age for student 3 so I'll say student 3 I'll copy this and I'll say student 3 dot get age now let's see how this works So the age for student 3 is 0 and it is different from uh, the ages of student 1 and student 2. And if we change the age for student 3, if we say student 3 dot set age and set it as 25 say and then we try to print the ages of all the 3 students. We try to print now. Let's see what happens. So for student one and student two, we have the ages as twenty-two, but for student three, we have the age as twenty-five. This is because this class student itself is not a singleton class. So uh, in Java, if we have a singleton class, that means the class can have only one object in a memory, but here the, the class itself is not singleton class instead the scope of this bean is singleton so what does that actually mean here we have one component or we, we have one bean which is named a student and another bean here which is named a student 3 and this bean is singleton and this bean is also singleton and in this class these two uh, these two variables are attached to this bean student bean so they are sharing the same object and whenever we make a change to one object it reflects in the other one but this bean is different the, the bean id for this or the bean name for this object is student 3 or this bean is student 3 and this uh, variable student3 is attached to this uh, bean so this the object that this bean id points to is different from the object that these beans point to or these uh, variables point to 
they are pointing to uh, the student bean and this variable is pointing to student 3 bean so for a particular bean ID there can be only one instance in the application context there can be only one instance of a class in the application context for a particular bean ID so since these two uh, variables are sharing the same bean ID or sharing the same bean reference which is student they share the same object but this uh, this variable has a different bean ID or this variable is referring to a different bean ID which is student 3 so this student 3 can have a different object attached to it so basically in if, if, if we are talking about a singleton class in Java we can have only one object of a class of that class in the memory at any given point of time but if you're talking about a singleton bean in spring that means a bean ID a particular bean ID or a bean name can be attached to a single instance of a class or a single object of a class and when we are requesting the the application context to give us a uh, return us uh, an object of a particular class using that particular bean name or bean ID it will always return the same object but that doesn't mean another bean ID or another bean name cannot have another instance of that class because the class itself is not singleton but the scope of the bean is singleton so that is how spring uh, singleton beans are different from uh, singleton classes in Java and if you're not already familiar with singleton classes and uh, how singleton classes can be created in Java I would uh, recommend you to take a look at my other video where I talk about uh, singleton classes and I'll put the link in the description below so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did enjoy please give it a thumbs up thanks for watching